Well, Valentine's Day is Wednesday, and if you're looking for a different kind of way to celebrate with your mate, we've found an idea that's sweet in more ways than one. Medora Woodall is live at Classic Cake in Cherry Hill to show us, Tori. Well, you know, there's nothing like something handmade and from the heart for Valentine's Day, right? I mean, that truly says, I'm thinking of you. And well, if you're thinking of chocolate and something sweet, and maybe your sweetie loves chocolate, we have a delicious recipe on behalf of this incredible chef. This is Robert Bennett here at Classic Cake, where we are using chocolate mousse, chocolate cake, raspberries and cherries to make chocolate bombs that you can easily do yourself looks like you've got quite a uh, quite a, a touch there oh absolutely I love my <laughs> chocolate <laughs> wonderful take a look at this recipe and we'll be right back love is in the air and Valentine's Day is only two days away so it's time to get into action for your amour and show your love and they say food is fuel for the body but good food is fuel for the soul we stop by classic cake in Cherry Hill to visit executive pastry chef Robert Bennett an artist responsible for convections so many swoon over and he's got an easy recipe that will impress yep. called the chocolate cherry bomb first we got to make the, the ganache okay this is already cream I've already heated it up. This is one part heavy cream to one part chocolate. Or just serve the bowl like this <laughs> with a ladle. <laughs> You know you would do that at home. Now, while I was cleaning up, Chef was lightly whipping more cream. Just going to pour the cream into the chocolate. After folding the cream into the chocolate mixture, it was time for this dessert to take shape in silicone molds. Filled halfway, then dolloped with a cherry compote. There we go, that's perfect. Top it off with more chocolate and then crown it with cherry juice soaked cake. And you're not smashing it down. No, 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 I'm just, just tapping it. Tapping it on top. Boom. And then this goes into the freezer. Once frozen, it's topped with a chocolate glaze, but at home, just more ganache works fine too. It almost looks fake. With a touch of buttercream and your favorite flourishes, it's one that will be sure to win the heart of your beloved. If the person you give this to doesn't want to stay with you forever, <laughs> leave them quick. This says, I love you. 100%. And you can see how easy it is. Have you thought it's been easy so far? Yes, it's been really easy. Oh my gosh, this is just a home run. This is what it will look like when they're done, right, Robert? That's right. And correct. that looks absolutely exceptional. And say maybe you don't, you know, have the time to put the effort into making it yourself. I'll come here. I'll make it for you. <laughs> there you go. Everybody wins. You guys, if you are interested in making this delicious chocolate bomb, you can head to our website, cbsphilly.com, for the mousse recipe that inside and I'm telling you look look at this it's absolutely divine are you trying to hold yourself back from sticking your face in it yes yeah they yeah so yeah they do don't they yeah. well enjoy you guys happy Valentine's Day and sending it back to you guys I have some work to do on these looks so good Thanks, Chef Bennett Tori. is the man <laughs> indeed thanks Tori